All right, what's up guys? Welcome to another Golf Plus video. I'm back on the quest and we are back on our quest for glory here. So we're actually going to head to Wolf Creek here for the very first time in this game. I've never played Wolf Creek uh, in VR. I've played it quite a number of times on EA Sports PGA Tour and PGA Tour 2K23, like the created course of that. But um, yeah, uh, the course is absolutely incredible. I used to just think this was a straight up fantasy course. When I found out it was a real golf course, I was kind of shocked just based on like all of the elevation changes and the epic scenery and stuff like that. It just seemed like a, a fantasy style golf course. But I'm going to do 18 holes amateur. I still want to work my way up to pro eventually, but I haven't played enough to, to really get into it on pro. Um, back tees, medium pins, low wind, and green speed fast. And we're doing a full round here at Wolf Creek. If you want to see more Golf Plus videos, um, please do drop a like. I was meant to be golfing in real life. I wish I could have more course vlogs and stuff for you guys in real life at the moment. But unfortunately, the weather is just not too good. There was a storm here yesterday. It knocked my fence off into the neighbor's garden. My dog was in the neighbor's garden last night. <laughs> I had to run and, and get her inside and all that. But uh, yeah, we're here. And I'm very much looking forward to this. This is absolutely awesome. Wolf Creek in virtual reality here we go so that's where i'm gonna be even just down there um this is my first time actually even golfing in vr without the brace i went pitch and putting without the brace but i haven't done like full swings without the brace yet so we'll see how this goes i'm gonna be maybe a little bit tentative at the start but it's not like you're really swinging with the same velocity as you do in real golf or anything like that you don't have an actual club in your hands and stuff like that but let's see if we can uh pump the first shot down the middle of the fairway here I'm doing a little bit of a pause to just kind of, um, how far did that go? Yeah, that went almost the full distance of the driver. That went 300 yards. I wish I could drive it that far in real life, but unfortunately, I cannot. Now, yeah, I wanted to say, like, I don't know, am I right in the middle of the camera? I am, I think, yeah. I'm, I'm doing this little bit of a pause at the top of the backswing to really kind of actually shallow out my swing. Because I've been doing this, right? I come out here and I'm down across. And I lose so much distance doing this because I'm just down across the ball. Even when I do make good contact, it's not going to go nearly as far as it would. Um, where the hell are we? Oh, okay. Uh, no, it had me backwards. That was so confusing. It had me, like, aiming up that way. That was trippy as... I'm, I'm not tripping, right? All right? I don't even think we can reach this, to be quite perfectly honest, even if we hit our very best three wood here i think this is pretty much unreachable for us but we'll give it a bash so 275 265 we'll just give it a bash and go for it i want to shallow out the swing and kind of get more of a, a draw going here that's pretty good that's pretty damn good actually lovely now obviously i have partial aim assist on this as well so it's not like it's going to be exactly where it would be going in real life and i do eventually want to get onto that but i just uh i'm not quite there yet with my golf game to be to be doing that straight away so a lot of undulations in the green at wolf creek in the greens at wolf creek we can maybe use the backstop here but we want to make sure we're over this part here we want to make sure we're up and over here so we want to be hitting this about a 28 yard shot here i'm just gonna boom nice little 28 yard one maybe a little hard, maybe? Yeah, we can use that slope a little bit, though. It was a little bit hard. I felt that I kind of hit that a little bit harder than I would have liked. But, you know what? We're in position for a birdie here on the first at Wolf Creek. A birdie put at Wolf Creek. Can't ask for much more than that. Apologies if the mic volume isn't perfect. I'm using my new XLR mic. I wish I had, like, a, a mic for here, but it's charging at the moment. I forgot to charge it ahead of time. Uh, the lav mic or whatever you call it, but we'll see. We'll see. The, the quality should be pretty good still. I'm not, like, too far away from my microphone, so it should be A-OK. -okay. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. All right, let's see if we can get away with the par. Let's see if we can get away with the par here. Yes. Par on one. All right. Par on the par five. Now... The elevation changes on some of these next ones are just absolutely bonkers, to be honest. I'm, te I'm tempted to just take this over the cliffs like I do on Rory McIlroy. Or, uh, sorry, on EA Sports PGA Tour. Um, I'm tempted to just try try that. All right, the ball's way too far away from here. 
Be good. Should be pretty good, right? That's why I was worried about it going over the other side, but that's all right. It's in the rough, but it's fine. I could have maybe taken a lot more of this off. We need to be careful of this green, though. This green can be quite disastrous. This is a pretty... It's way tougher when it's up there, to be fair. So this is a pretty okay pin position. It's just that you need to be aware of that false front. I think the pitching wedge is the shot here. Like, this definitely is the shot type. Sand wedge is 110. That's nowhere near... That's a big gap. A 135 to a 110, like... That seems like too big a gap, maybe. Maybe I need to get a gap wedge in there. Can I, like, switch it out so I have a gap wedge? Because I don't need a 5-wood and a 3-wood, I don't think. I probably have to change that in my bag beforehand, though. I would imagine. Right. Let's pump one up there. 122. So I don't want to really be hitting this full, I would say. Where's the wind? Two mile an hour. Wind's pretty dead. I didn't. I didn't hit that very well at all. Bunker. Just pushed it out there, unfortunately. And this is going to be an incredibly difficult up and down here. A ridiculously difficult, to be quite perfectly honest. But we'll give it our best shot. 15 yards. Got to hit the sandwich. I got to open the face up here as much as possible. Aim a little bit left. You know what? It's not horrible. It's stopped dead. It's pretty good. And we've got a par putt. Way too hard, way too hard, way too hard. Stop! Stop! You donkey. We're lucky it didn't go off the green, to be honest, man. You suck. You suck, kid! Double trouble here at the second. Double trouble. The second shot is what cost us, and this is probably the toughest hole on the entire course, to be quite perfectly honest with you. It's just an absolute disaster. And I think I need all of the five wood, and I'm not sure that even gets there, to be honest. I think the three wood, we might need the whole damn thing. Now, I'm going to go for a high spin three wood shot. Ah, that's shockingly bad. I tried to hit that too hard, now I did. That might be OB, is it? Oh my god. That's not good. That's not good at all. Oh, Jesus Christ. Keep coming. This better be OB. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's not OB. This is not OB. Oh, can I just re-fucking re start? Take a drop? All right, I'm playing from the T again. I'm, ta I'm playing from the T again. There's just no way I could have played from there. I think it's easier to get it on the green from here, to be quite perfectly honest with you. So I'm just going to hit a full three wood. Back to middle of the green now. Come on. Much better swing that time. Just smooth as butter that time. Oh, what a shot. It's honestly just a little too good. Is the only problem with that one. That was an absolute beauty, my man. Why do I sound like Butch Harmon? That was an absolute beauty, my man. All right, let's get a little lob wedge. Just land it right there anywhere on the front of that green. And it's going to, to be honest, it's going to run down there. So we just need to be careful of this. Ah, oh, it, it was really tough. It was really tough to stop. Look at this. Look at this one. It's still going. I can hear the rain and wind outside. So I'm glad I'm not out there at least. But that is unfortunate. Unfortunate indeed. Oh my god. Did I smash it that hard? That's what she said. Alright, well, I think this is what, a double bogey putt? It's a disaster. An absolute disaster. It's going to be a triple bogey here at the third. And I knew this was going to be the toughest hole on the course. But our tee shot... Oh, fucking hell, Tarlock, what are you doing? I did that to myself, man. Nearly missed that one, too. That's an eight. It was actually... A, it wasn't even close to a triple. It was an 8 in the end. It would have been a quad either way, if, even if I had made that putt. And that's an absolute disaster. It really is just disastrous stuff there. I can hardly believe it, but it is what it is. It has to... We have to move on from that now. We're 7 over after 3 holes. Oh, it's just a really good strike, but a tiny bit to the right, I think. In those bunkers, maybe? Yeah. 
All right, it's not the end of the world, to be honest. 274, we drove it, but it's not the end of the world. We can make this work 100% with a little sand wedge. Maybe try and use the back stuff. I know these greens well. I know the Wolf Creek greens well and how they shape. So I think we can make this work. <clears throat> Go. Chase. Okay. Okay. We can make that work. Didn't hit it quite as hard as I would have wanted to, but yeah, we'll, we'll make that work. No problem. Absolutely no problem there. So I think this is going to break to the right and then break back to the left. So it's going to be kind of pretty straight, I reckon. No. Needs to be out to the right a little bit more. Needs to be out to the right a little bit more, but not a bad shot. And if we could bounce back with a par here. You suck! Alright, my putting needs work. My putting needs work. And this is why I didn't want to play on the pro difficulty just yet. Because I, I flat out suck right now. Alright, well, 8 over through 4. Not ideal. Let's try and be maybe... Let's try and break 90, alright? That... That's far-fetched, maybe, the way we're playing right now, but let's try it. Ah! I'm just fading everything a little too much, man. Fading everything. That's that coming over the top of it a little bit again. I've left myself a long shot here, up the hill. I don't think that's gonna work, sir. I'm gonna need at least a 3-iron. Is that gonna be enough, even? Aw, oh, really? They're going to say I'm going to hit this if I hit the 3 iron. See, this is what I don't understand, right? So it said 3-wood was going to clear this, but then I went to put a bit of fade on it, and now it's saying it won't clear it. Again, just the push, man. Push is killing me here. Come back down. It stays up there. Whew. All right. We can make this work. A little floppy. You know what? That is not bad at all. Not exactly what I was going for, but that works. That works for sure. No, no, no. Come on. Game? Really? Really? You're kidding me right now. Look at this. That was in, man. That would have been our first birdie of the round. That's cruel. That is actually genuinely cruel. Wow. Okay, well, there you go. Now, in the game, you can kind of drive over to the opposite side. I don't really think that that's possible here. I might even just hit a three-wood just to be a little bit safe here. I don't want to even risk anything happening there. So I'm going to hit a little three-wood. Again, just a huge fade. I think the, the fact that I'm trying to go in to out, you can see... Well, yeah, I am coming down on top of it maybe still. Coming across it. I went in the water? I was too busy worrying about my goddamn swing plane. You're shitting me right now. I went in the frickin' water? I reckon a full 9 iron could be perfect here. Again. That might work, though. Ah, uh, it's not quite far enough. It's not awful, but... It's not great either. It's not great either. It's tough putt. It's a 59-footer here. If we could hold this one, I think that would be something pretty special. I mean, I am just lashing the putts, though. That's the second, third time I've absolutely just destroyed... I, I thought that was way uphill. Magic. Magic hands. Unfortunately, it's the putting that's letting me down today big time. The putting has let me down in, a, in an extraordinarily uh, epic way. But a good up and down for a bogey, uh, for a double actually, I forgot I went OB. A double bogey, we're at the reachable par four now. The first one I didn't fade, I want to fade way more. That's so unfortunate, man. It's actually okay down there. <laughs> we can make that work. All right. A little lob wedge, let's just go up and have a look at the, the green here. Yeah, we could use the slope to the left if we need to, so let's just make sure we're, we're not right. Oh, just a little bit too much pace, but that's pretty good. Giving ourselves a good birdie chance here. What a course this is, man. Wolf Creek is magic, huh? 
All right, I need to be so careful with this one. I need this a little tap, tap, tap -aroo. How's it still that hard, man? Like, I felt like I didn't hit that that hard at all. All right, it didn't go as far as I was expecting it to. Good par. Good par. I really want a birdie, though. I really want a birdie, man. All right, par three. 240-odd yards down the hill. 77 foot down. That's incredible. The wind is not very strong at all. I'm thinking, is, is three iron crazy? I don't think it is. I think three iron could honestly still be a little too much. And see if that works. If this is too far, then we know for the future, but... So bad, dude. How is it that bad? Look at the divot. It's the same divots I get in real life, man. All right. Unfortunate. Everything is just out there. This is how I've been feeling in real life recently, where I'm just doing that all the time. So it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Let's see if we can get an up and down from 17 yards. Really tough up and down here. Oh, it's so close to being perfect. So close to being perfect, man. Do I put this? I feel like I can put this. Again, just that. Like, I, can, I can't get the pace of the putts at all. I'm just absolutely... I feel like I'm tapping them and I'm hammering them. Better. Better. Unfortunate, but better. Bogey. No, that's a double? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My first chip as well. Can we get it to the front of the green? Probably not. 377 a day. Ah, uh, much better drive. Much better drive, man. That felt good. That felt good. It's an absolute beauty. Let's see if we can start playing some golf now, all right? We got loads of time left to make this round uh, a special one, all right? We got loads of time left. 88-yard shot here. Let's put one close. Stick one close and see where we go from there. What's the lob wedge? 80 yards now. Go! Go! Oh, yes. Just about get away with it. If we can get our putting locked in, we got a good chance here to get something going, all right? Didn't go that way. Good effort, though. Good pace. Actually, left the putt short for once. Good par. End hole, end round now. No. I'm 12 over. I want to break 90. We need a really good back nine if we want to break 90. I mean really good. So let's do it. There's no reason we can't. Mm, a little bit of a fade, but not that bad, honestly. That should be pretty good. It's perfect. That's perfect, baby. Great shot. Leaves us a good distance in. 173 odd yards. Right. What are we going to do here? Seven iron's perfect. I, I think like a full seven iron... The way this will run out, I think this should be ideal. Huge push again. Just an absolutely monumental push. How am I pushing him that much, man? Ah, all right. The push is killing me. Killing me softly. I think it's because my, my, my swing path recently, I've been trying to go in to out in real life. Like, bang, and that's kind of leading in the game. To me, getting quite a an awkward push. Good, good bunker shot, man. Really good bunker shot. That wasn't easy from back there, but that's a good bunker shot. Open the face perfectly and give ourselves a good chance to save the par potentially. Big par save, baby. Come on. The back nine starts with a bang. I want to break 90. We're going to break 90. Let's go. All right, so 208 is way too much. It's 73 foot down. I'm thinking a 185 club. Could be money. I'm thinking a 174. Is that crazy? I'm going to make a 174 work. I'm going to make a 174 work, all right? Now, hopefully the audio is okay for you guys. I'm apolo apologies if it's not great. Again, it's out to the right. This might kick left, though. Yeah, unfortunately, that's just not... I don't think it was enough. Especially with the push. The push is always going to take some distance off. It's not ideal. Let's see if we can get up and down. Magic. Magic hands. 
He's got magic hands, baby. It's it's ironic because like I feel like it's the opposite in God Plus of what I am in real life. Like my my um my chipping in real life is probably the worst part of my game. Like I'm really bad at it, and my long game tee to green is pretty good. Like I I would never be pushing every single shot like this. Like I push a few here and there. It is like my weak shot recently, but never th to this extent. Better golf shot that time on a par five. That should give us a good opportunity to maybe go at this par five and two. It's an absolute magic golf shot. Don't go into the rough. It's perfect. Perfect. 204 yards left. It's bloody ideal for us to get a... This could be bloody ideal for us here, guys. Really good. It's in the water. Oh, it's lucky. The, the Lucky the rough is kind of uh, thick, thankfully. Are we going to need a little bit of a, a zipper again? Oh, magic. I've got magic hands in the game. I've got magical hands in the game, man. It's beautiful. The chipping has been magical. I wish chipping was this easy in real life. We're one under for the back nine now. We're starting to really pick it up here. Do I go for the green here? I'm going for it. Full send ahead. Let's go, baby. Of course the one that I actually pu pull this time. <laughs> That's the one shot I've ever pulled in my life in this game. And it's on the shot where I actually needed to fade. And that is going to be tough from here. Well, I'm... We're, you know what? It actually could work. It's not the worst position to be in. Let's make it work. Pretty good. Pretty good. That's a birdie putt. Stay there. Stay there. We can make that work, son. How about a two-putt par here, baby? How about a two-putt par? How about a one-putt birdie? Oh! Close. Close. Par. All right. We're cooking. Five holes left. 63 right now, we're 12 over par. We're on track to break 90, that's for sure. Just need to keep this going. Just need to keep this going, baby. Big push again. I don't know how to stop the pushes in this game, man. It's not a very good shot either way. I was trying to go with a smoother swing that time. It really did not work at all. I'm thinking five iron with a little bit of a little bit of a spinny five iron could work here. Get up. All right, I'll have to settle for that. It's honestly not a terrible, terrible shot. All things considered, this is awful though. Truly an awful shot here. Let's try and make it work. Not enough. Actually, that's pretty good. All right, I feel like the chipping is a cheat code. I want to try chipping without the assisted aim. Huge par, baby. That's an absolute monster par. If I could go under par on the back nine, considering I went 12, I went 13 over on the front nine, that would be kind of magical. This hole is quite difficult. I think the sandwich could be perfect, actually. Let's make a hole of one. Make a hole of one at Wolf Creek, baby. That's right at it. Not enough though, wow. Okay. Wow, that short? Did I really not hit that that hard? Wow, okay. Let's chip it in. Okay, really good chip again. <laughs> My chipping in this game. They call me Philly Mick. All right, another up and down for par. And we head to this, uh, I like this hole actually. The finishing stretch at Wolf Creek is magical, dude. No, I was plus 12 for the front nine. I'm plus 11 now. Yeah, correct. That's pushed. That's out of bounds. That's actually perfect. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. That's so good. I knew that. I knew that. I meant that. Magical shot. 75 yards, 320 yard drive. That's how you do it. Let's put one close. Need to hit this almost full. Not quite. 
Please be good. Please be good. Please be good. Oh, it's beautiful. Nice little bit of check on it as well. It's a good birdie chance to go two under on the back nine here. Let's see what we got. No, oh, smashed it. Smashed it. Smashed it through the break, baby. We get the one back. It's a par. We're bogey free on the back nine. Let's not jinx it now, but we're bogey free on the back nine. This is golden. This is golden. We head to the par five. This hole is one of my favorites. I'm in Wolf Creek. It's so good, man. In the bunker. Shit. It's going to be a layup from here, boys. I'm just going to hit a little eight iron up there. Unfortunately, that's the way of the road sometimes. Pretty good shot. Pretty good shot, baby. Leaves us a good distance in. Good wedge distance in. That's perfect. I think my 135, we can make that work. Let's make it work, baby. Let's make it work. Come on, baby. Draw. Nah. That's a big miss. Yeah, I'm kind of taking the pins on a little too much for a course like Wolf Creek, I feel like. We're going to make this work, though. Watch. Didn't quite get enough height on that, I feel like. I feel like the bunker shots, I'm hitting a little too low out of the bunker, and they're kind of just running a little too much. I need to get a little bit more check on them. But we can make this work. Still got a par putt here. Come on. Come on. Oh! A par would have been quite lovely there. But we'll have to settle for our first bogey on the back nine. And it comes on the par five. The 18th I love though. Let's see if we can reach it, reach on the 18th here. Let's hit a banging driver right up there. Pump it close. Make a birdie. Walk off. No, you dick. You Tom, Dick, and Harry. That's in the water. <laughs> Oh my god, stay! Stay! <laughs> How the hell did I get that lucky? This might, I might get taken away by the waterfall here, but we've got a shot. We've got a shot. If I can get this on the green... Alright, I gotta go up and check the green here. If I can get this on the green, we can use the backstop maybe. We don't need to get too few with it. We can use the backstop. Let's do this. No, it's not going there. Wait. Yeah, it fucking is. Come back down! Don't stop there! That's a cruel twist of fate, man. How does it stop there? Go in, go in, go in, you hear ya? Ah! Alright, we've got a putt for a par. It's a hell of a back nine. So far, we're level par on the back nine. This is to go... This is to stay level par on the back nine. Oh my god. You gotta be shitting me, man. You gotta be shitting me. Alright, we did break 90. It's an 85, and you know what? I'll take it all day long. All day long. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let's have a, a look at the full round analysis here. So, best shots were hole 5, shot 3. The lob wedge, we put it to 3 foot from 21, yard, uh, from 21 yards. A lot of my best shots were, to be fair, um, around the green. This one was a putter, in, a putt into the hole. All the rest of them are, yeah, from around the green, man. <laughs> All right, worst shots. A lot of the ones off the tee. Three wood. Three wood. The three wood I didn't do too well with. Yeah, we, we lost a lot of strokes on those ones. Hole by hole. They're pretty good, man. I like that. They give you the shots, uh, even the, sh um, the expected shots or whatever there. Shots gained. All right. Shots gained and lost. Strokes gained and lost, I should say. But anyway, that is where we'll end the video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, make sure to drop a like. It's the best way to let me know you enjoy uh, the videos. And we will be back with more in the very near future. It's been my pleasure to serve you all. Apologies, I was looking the opposite way there. But what a round. I enjoyed that. Wolf Creek, I definitely feel like if I can get good at pro, I feel like that would make this game a lot more entertaining and fun. But, I'm, yeah, I've just noticed... In Golf Plus specifically, this is not really... It doesn't transfer over to real golf, but I push it a lot. 
Like, I can't seem to figure out the fact that I'm pushing the ball so much. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, drop a like, let me know. We'll be back with more in the near future. And I'll see you guys then. It's been my pleasure to serve you all. Peace out.